some businesses wondering whether they can survive all of this rail construction might get a helping hand. KITV force Andrew Prayer joins us now. And Andrew, there are two bills that could be a lifeline for these companies. Yeah, that's right, Yunji. One bill was introduced at the state level by a representative, while the other bill was authored by a member of the city council. It's a big time headache for drivers trying to get through lunchtime traffic in Waipahu, IAEA, and Pearl City. Business owners feel their pain, and then some. We had no idea it was going to affect us like this. God, yeah, if I knew ahead of time, I would have been picketing the city. The city. I would have joined. The a revolution to stop this. Hero Simon Haven is struggling to stay afloat. The brand new shop and dine on the line program helps, but Linda Matsuo says these are still desperate times. She says two new proposals need to become reality quickly. The key here is to do it fast because there are already businesses hurting. They're, they're going to close, they're on the verge of closing. A bill introduced by state representative John Mizuno would create a fund for small businesses whose sales are off by 25% or more. The most a business could receive under Mizuno's proposal is $25,000. Another bill introduced by city council member Carol Fukunaga would cut in half property taxes for affected business owners. Property tax break is huge. That would really help us. Um, the fund, I think it will help the, the businesses that are hurting already. Government and just deep fry, you know. At Honolulu Kitchen in Waipahu, home of the deep fried Manapua, the situation isn't much better. Stephen Wong opened the restaurant in April just as rail construction was ramping up. My business dropped maybe like 20, 25 percent. But fortunately, you know, recently they've been opening up some homes for us again, and I noticed, you know, maybe a drop of 15. Just down the street, Taniokas has cut some of its hours, and sales are down compared to last year. While there's no guarantee either of the bills to help businesses survive the construction of rail will pass, those barely staying afloat say any help is welcomed. I am sweating and can't sleep. Let's be honest. The earliest that Vice Speaker Mizuno's bill could be heard is January at the start of the next legislative session. Fukunaga's bill is scheduled for first reading this Wednesday. Meanwhile, Council Chairman Ernie Martin has authored a resolution urging the state to pass tax relief for businesses hurt by rail construction. Yanji.